Welcome to another Learning Lua. In this one we're going to talk about Lua Rocks, which is a way of adding Lua repositories to your Lua projects. The reason I got started with this is I started several new projects that involved uh, Corona SDK, now known as Solar2D, and a project with Lover, which is using Lua to create virtual reality experiences. So I wanted to create something or use something that allowed me to work with multiplayer frameworks. Um, I'm using Calisius, which is an open source uh, tool set that allows multiplayer development or exchange of information real easily. And it really doesn't matter what your client is. Uh, you can use Unity, you can use Default, you can use Solar2D, Lover, whatever you want to use, Cocos, um, it, it really is very flexible. So I'm going with Calisius as my multiplayer framework, and that required me to use a WebSocket for the Lua system. So I not wanting to recreate the wheel or go through a bunch of extra work, I jumped over to Lua Rocks. Uh, if you are interested in seeing more and learning more about what I'm doing with multiplayer using Lua, specifically the Solar2D or Lover tool sets, please let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Now, Lua Rocks is a package manager specifically designed for Lua modules. It includes lots of great modules that have already been created for your your various Lua projects. And as I tell my students all the time, we don't want to recreate the wheel. If somebody's already gone through all the hard work of creating something and shared it to the community, let's take advantage of that. So Lua Rocks is a great system. Um, it, in, it includes the WebSocket tool sets that we're going to need for our various projects. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is download your Lua Rocks, whatever you need for your particular system. So I'm going to install the Windows 64-bit Lua Rocks onto my system. And that gives us a zip file with Lua Rocks and Lua Rocks admin. So I'm going to just simply extract these to my computer system. And let's just put this, there we go, nice easy place to find it. And I'll add that to my system so that I can find it real easy um, in the path. So that's now there and installed. And once it's added to your path on your computer system, at least for Windows, uh, we can get to the folder. So we'll just move over to the folder and run it for the first time. There we go. And there's the full thing. So installing a module or that this is all, of course, the help, help information to go along with Lua Rocks. We are ready to go so we can add modules really easily and do the, all the configuration that needs to go with that. So make sure you check the documentation and configure it for your system. It does give you the advantage of being able to add lots of great modules that have already been created to your Lua project and be able to use them very quickly and get up to ready and ready to go.